Jeff and I are here today to help you unbox your Patterns of Power Plus kit. The first thing in here, hmm, what is this? It looks like something I could later use for an art project. But it's made just enough space for me to put my Patterns of Power resource guide in it. Huh, isn't that beautiful? Storage is your friend. Jeff, you wanna talk about the teacher's guide? The teacher's guide ends up being your key to everything's Patterns of Power Plus. Everything that's in the kit is talked about in here and gives you directions on how to use and make everything work together. But the best part of the teacher's guide is that it's full of lesson plans for all the lessons that you're going to do throughout the year, teachers. And to show and share and display those lessons, we have... The flip chart. So the lessons are in the teacher's guide for you, but the flip chart is for your students. Your entire lesson is on the flip, your lesson cycles are on the flip chart. What's really nice about the flip chart is it is made of dry erasable material. So you can actually write on it and erase it and use it over and over again. And my favorite thing oh, yeah. about this flip chart, we have a template at the back that is completely blank that you can use your dry erase markers on and um, well, it's not really completely lesson. blank. Well, the headings are there for you. So okay. the, what do you Just notice? Want to be accurate. So everything is here for you. And we've even seen students play Patterns of Power <laughs> where they come up with their own <laughs> sentence and ask each other, what do you notice? So this is available to you for that. It must be really fun to do Patterns of Power. That's what I'm thinking. It sure is. So here we are. We also have these great Focus Phrase cards. And the Focus Phrase cards give us a chance to display the uh, focus phrase that ties into the lesson, the one that we thread through all days, all six days of the lessons. These are going to be used over and over and over again throughout your entire lesson set and then revisited throughout the year. Tell us about the website, Whitney. So as you know, there is a website with Patterns of Power Plus. We have a bonus lesson for you. There are videos, of course, of us teaching, of us explaining the process, there is frequently asked questions that you can go to if you're looking for answers. There is a link to our community Facebook group and Jeff and I are in there answering questions yep. and interacting with teachers. We would love to see you join our Facebook community group as well. We also have the student notebook. What's exciting about the student notebook is its interactive and constructive capabilities. We have a great page with the connector words on it, a Woobus, fanboys. We've got punctuation guides and all kinds of things you might find in a style guide. But the most exciting part to me is that not only do you have those cool pages and tools, you actually actually start creating the tool. Kids can record the model sentence. They can record some of their noticings and conversation. They can record the focus phrase. And then think about that. After several weeks, they've created a stack mm -hmm. of things to reference again. So it's actually become an interactive style guide. So we're excited that you're going to start your Patterns of Power Plus journey and we hope you enjoy writing with your kids. <laughs>